to share with you guys some of my favorite memories from basic military training. We were all getting put in a flight and meeting our MTI for the very first time. And he just started yelling at us right away. He made us all pick up our luggage and we had to start running over to our dorms while we are carrying our luggage. I was smart. I took a duffel bag. So I took one piece of luggage. There were people who had giant roller luggages. If you had two bags, you had to carry it all in your left hand. People were dropping stuff everywhere and you you couldn't carry other people's stuff for them. It just was a mess. Our MTI is yelling all this stuff at us that we're trying to remember, repeating it back to him at the same time. And like, we're getting yelled at because we're not doing it right. Now, I know you all are probably like, McKenna, you're supposed to be telling us your favorite parts. And this sounds absolutely terrible. <laughs> but for me, I have wanted to join the Air Force for over nine years. So <laughs> it sucked so much, but I was embracing it. I don't know why are my favorite parts like just getting yelled at the very first day. I don't even know. I don't even think we slept. We had to dump all of our luggage out all over our bed. I feel like there were like 10 MTIs like running all around the bay, looking at all of our stuff, yelling at us, like asking us questions, asking us what stuff was. That honestly was probably the most like, <gasps> that I felt I wanted to be here and I'm here. So that's kind of the way I looked at it and that's kind of why it is my favorite <laughs> memory because it was embracing what BMT is. I think that everyone who has been to any type of military training can agree when I say that receiving letters is one of the best parts of training. Everybody is waiting around like kids on Christmas to get their gifts whenever it's mail time. I want to thank today's amazing sponsor and that is Sandbox. Sandbox made sending and receiving letters at BMT effortless. So I personally used Sandbox when I was at BMT. Look at all of these letters I have in here and this is not even all of them. First of all, of course you get your message from your sender, but then they can even attach a colored photo. It was just so heartwarming and encouraging to receive photos and they even get tracking with it as well. So they could watch the letter get to you. They include a piece of paper for you to write back on an envelope and a return label. The only thing that you have to do is add a stamp and put it in the mailbox and you are good to go. They get tracking for that letter as well. I seriously cannot say enough good things about Sandbox. I really love them and receiving letters was definitely one of my favorite parts. So be sure to tell your friends and family about Sandbox before you go. Definitely recommend. You can also check out the link in the description. Okay, I already know that anyone from any other branch is already gonna be hating on me for this one, but granola bars. <laughs> we were all so excited for our evening brief. They were Special K protein bars. They had chocolate and strawberry. The best chocolate I had had in my entire life. So I get to tech school and I'm like, I gotta get the BMT protein bars. Man, this just brings back memories of BMT. Happy memories, it was wonderful. So I went to eat it and wasn't the same. My next favorite part was drill. I loved drill. Drill was one of the main things that made me feel like I am in the military. This is what we do. I always just felt such a sense of pride whenever I was marching. Drill, honestly, is probably like my top favorite thing from BMT. Beast Week was definitely a favorite of mine at BMT. It's a simulated deployment, basically. You're around like everybody else while you're at regular BMT, but you're not allowed to talk to anyone or you will get yelled at. So whenever you're at Beast Week, everyone in your zone has to like work together so everybody gets to interact with each other. That is one of the most fun parts by far. It was like 100 degrees, not even kidding. We're in like full mop gear. It was pretty ridiculous. And while you're at Beast, you have to jog everywhere you go. Like it doesn't matter what the weather, what the temperature, you're jogging everywhere you go. You're in this tent, you have to go to the latrine, you gotta jog out the little village that you're in to get over there. <laughs> so funny because you have like a helmet on, you have like a Kevlar vest on, you have your web belt on with your water and everyone is definitely looking a hot mess. <laughs> so during Beast Week, we had to do like a lot of tactical training and things. And now this is just like such a silly, goofy memory, learning how to guard an opening. Then there would be different people who would take turns playing the intruder, basically. I was the one who was being the intruder at the moment. So I was like, Walking up there. Oh! Raise your weapon above your head. Spread your fingers, spread your feet. Put your weapon on the ground in front of you. So I was doing what he told me. I put my hands in the air, spread my fingers, spread my feet, and I'm just standing there. And he goes, side to the left, side to the right. Two hops this time. And it was just so funny because it was so unexpected. And you know, everyone's just like going through the motions of these different things that you're supposed to say. 
and he just like turned kind of like a serious moment into like something really goofy and I was cracking up. Another favorite memory is eating and sharing MREs because that is what we had to eat while we were at B. So we actually only had to eat two MREs a day. So we had an MRE for breakfast and lunch and then we did get to go to dinner at a dining facility. More times than not, I had an MRE that was pretty decent. But what my favorite part was about eating MREs was trading MREs. It just reminded me of trading Halloween candy with my cousins. Hey, I'll give you this meat patty if you give me that protein bar. Sometimes there would be candy in them, so everyone, of course, would always go crazy over the candy they wanted the Reese pieces or the sour Skittles. It just made me so happy one day sitting outside in the hot sun, I just had like the biggest smile on my face. I was eating honestly one of my least favorite MREs at the time and they're like, God, what are you smiling about? And I was just like, this is a good memory. One of my happiest, <laughs> one of my happiest moments when I was there, just kind of like looking at my, my new family that I had there at BMT. One of those moments where like, you know, you kind of feel like you're taken away from it. You can like see it all happening. And I just felt so happy in that moment. And if you're someone who has been to military training at all, share some of your favorite experiences. Some of those experiences that are like, oh, people probably wouldn't think this would be a good experience. But for me, it was like one of my favorite memories. 